Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about different encryption algorithms which we can use in order to encrypt our data. So in the last video I told you about ciphertext that the ciphertext is obtained after converting our plain text or after encrypting our plain text and the ciphertext is in the unreadable form so that a normal person can't be understand that what's the meaning of that cipher text. Now we'll discuss about types of type ciphers first. So there are two types of ciphers. The first one is stream cipher and the second one is block cipher. So the stream ciphers, now what are stream ciphers? So stream ciphers actually encrypt one digit at a one time. Just for example, our data contains five digits that is hello, H E double L O. So the first digit that is H will be encrypted first, then the next digit that is E encrypted, then the L will be encrypted, then another L and then O will be encrypted. So in the stream cipher, one digit is, is encrypted at one time and the stream cipher contains only symmetry key encryption which means the key for encrypting the data and the key for decrypting the data will be same. Now let's talk about block cipher. So as the name suggests block which means the block cipher converts a particular block or the block cipher encrypts a particular bit of block. So here you can see that it operates on a fixed length of a group called as block. So one group at a one time which means one group of a block that is a 64 bit will be converted at a one time. So here you can see that it might be deciphers. So block ciphers are not secure. So they might be easily deciphers but there are different different ways. And now let's talk about different kind of encryption algorithms. So the first one is RC4 stream cipher. So RC4 algorithm is called as Rivest cipher 4 and it's actually a stream cipher which means it will convert a one digit at a one time and here you can see that it's all it's a symmetry key algorithm the key for encrypting the data and key for decrypting the data is same now let's talk about some block ciphers algorithm so the first one is des algorithm so des algorithm stands for data encryption standard here you can see so data encryption standard algorithm actually operates on a fixed length of a block so it's fixed length string so cipher text of a plain site and the block size is 64 bit which means if our data is actually a 120 8 bit then the first 64 bit will be encrypted first then the another 64 bit will encrypted after our the previous 64 bit data and one more thing to be noticed that in the block ciphers the key the key and the size of a data which convert at one time is same so as the des algorithm is actually converting the block size of 64 bit data which means its key should be also of 64 bit but this DES algorithm is vulnerable to brute force attack or different dictionary attacks. So that's why it's not secure. So in order to make it secure, information security researchers actually developed one more algorithm that is 3DES. So 3DES algorithm stands for triple data encryption standard. So in addition to DES, this algorithm contains three keys. So in order to protect our data and with the help of these three keys, our data is secure from different kind of password guessing attacks like dictionary attack and brute force attack and in the last there is one algorithm called as AES which is one of the most popularly used algorithm around the globe. So AES stands for advanced encryption standard. So this is a one of the most powerful algorithm which is used for encrypting our data. Why? Because the key size of this AES algorithm is 128 bit, 256 bit and even 512 bit key which means the key size is 128, 512 and the data or the block size should be the same as the size of the key. So that's why this algorithm AES should be considered one of the most powerful algorithm used in the world. Now let's see how encryption works with the help of one Python program. Now let's have a look at different encryption algorithms and their working. So in the previous video, we have downloaded this script, Swiss Crypto. And in this video, I will use the same script. So let us open the script. So as I told you earlier that the encryption is of two types, symmetric and asymmetric. So in symmetric encryption, the key for encrypting the data and the key for decrypting the data is same. Whereas in asymmetric encryption, the key for encrypting and the key for decrypting the data is different. So this tool, which I have created actually supports symmetric encryption at this time. So let's click over here and then it asks us for the cipher we want to use. So first of all, let's click over here to the block cipher and we know that there are different kind of block cipher algorithms but common one are 
एडवांस इनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड एलगोरिथम एंड डेटा इनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड एलगोरिथम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल डिस्कस डेटा इनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड एलगोरिथम सो क्लिक ओवर हियर एज सुन एज वी क्लिक ओवर हियर इट आस्क सस फॉर द डेटा टू कन्वर्ट सो एज ए टूल यू आर हियर दैट इन डेटा इनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड एलगोरिथम वी ऑलवेज हैव टू एड द डेटा इन मल्टीपल ऑफ एट which means if i add here hello 1 2 3 so the total length of this data is 8 so we have to add data multiple of 8 means if you want to add more data we have to add the till 16 then 24 and multiple of 8 so let's click over here to okay and here you will see that our data is converted to the cipher text and here we got our encrypted text you can see here and here is our key encryption key which we got but you might be wondering that why this key is not a long random key the reason is that i haven't added a random key generation function in data encryption standard algorithm in this python program so that's why i have made this key constant in this python program so that's why you are seeing this eight digits key so the another reason of making this key constant is that i want to show you that the key or in ds algorithm is always should be in eight digits or in the multiple of eights so the data and the key should always be in multiple of eight so now let's try to decrypt the data encryption standard algorithm so let's click over here decryption symmetric encryption and then we have to select the decryption algorithm so the point to be notice is that we have to select the same algorithm which we have used in order to encrypt the data so let's select this and here it asks us for the key to decrypt and our key is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and let's copy our encrypted text or a cipher text from here from this python shell and let me paste it here and click on decrypt give us an error okay i think we missed something so we have to copy the text very carefully otherwise it will give us an error and let me paste it here click on decrypt and here you will see that we got our normal text back that is hello 1 2 3 so this is how data encryption standard work so and the main disadvantage of data encryption standard is that it always accept the data and key in multiple of 8 bits and there is some restriction of key that we can't add up to 64 bit so that's why the key size is very small in data encryption standard which is vulnerable to some brute force attacks now let's have a look at advanced encryption standard and it's working and let's start this script again let's go here block ciphers and now now let's this time click over here advanced encryption standard so in advanced encryption standard we can add the data and but it it's not mandatory that we have to add the data in multiple of eight which means we can add any data of any size just for example let's write here this is secret and if i click on okay here you will see that our text is encrypted and we got our encrypted text here at the bottom and above it we got our long random key the same thing we got in python shell you can see here so this is the beauty of advanced encryption standard that the size of key is very long that makes the key and our data secure from brute force attack so we can add here any data click on okay you will see we got another key pair and encrypted text so this is how advanced encryption standard work and in order to decrypt it the steps are same so this this was all about block ciphers algorithm now let's have a look at one stream cipher algorithm that is rc4 so let's go here encryption symmetric encryption then stream cipher rc4 algorithm that is rivest cipher 4 and here it asks us for enter the key and data so as i told you earlier that in rc4 algorithm it's not mandatory that we have to add data in multiple of 8 bits so we can add here any key like hello let's make it as hello 1 2 3 so it's our key or a password and let's add here text which we want to encrypt so our text will be you can write here anything very secret so if i click on convert you will see that we got our cipher text or encrypted text so let's copy this text from here 
and now let's go here to decryption let's try to decrypt this text we have to select the same algorithm rc4 so here we have to add our key so our key was hello123 and our text which we have copied so I have pasted here click on OK and here you will see that we got our normal text pack that is very secret so this is how block ciphers stream ciphers and the different algorithm works so this was a short example of demonstration of different encryption algorithms so in this video we have covered that what are different ciphers and what are different algorithms supported by them so thanks for watching this video